Damn orbs. Where's Mr. GM? Let me see. Let me see what he's got. Hold on. Hold hold your asses. Let's see what let's see how long his video is. Cause I think we are. Dragonflight P patch release leak. Okay, let's check that out. Let's check that out. I think we're done here as far as the raid goes. I don't think we're gonna be able to get another pull in before I have to go. I have to go at ten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll pick this up uh, on stream tomorrow at 7 a.m. ET. Feel free to join again. Yeah, good stuff. It was good stuff. You know, what are we going to do? What are you going to do? Sometimes you get all the kills, sometimes you don't. Yeah. It happens, it happens. But, I, 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 you know, I have to call it early. You have to call it early. I did want to watch this. Uh, Mr. GM posted this video. Let's check this out. Been a while since we've since we've talked, so we're going to talk about uh, the leaked release date that yeah, came let's out. See. It actually came out a while ago, and, and a lot we'll of people have covered him. it since then. And you know, you're probably going to comment, "Oh no, everyone's already covered this. Why are you covering it now?" Well, yeah, it's Why been a little bit, him? and some of the things have also come true, so it's very interesting. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. But before we jump into all that, guys, just shout out my Twitch, Twitch or DV Sash, Mr. GM. Yeah, there you Street, go. Yeah, we're going to Warcraft, check him out right after Dragonfly this video. Dragonfly Alpha Beta, Rampage King out. Classic, and more. I'm over on Twitch, TV Sash, Mr. GM, every single day. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be more of a casual, chatty, unscripted, just kind of like moving my hands a lot video. Sure. Um, where we talk about the release day and we talk about kind of the readiness of the alpha. I play a lot of alpha over on this Twitch stream. Oh, as I, I won't forget the, the music, time. don't worry. Uh, we've literally been streaming it pretty much every single day uh, since it's come out, and we do all sorts of fun things over there. So if you want to check that yeah, out, yeah, yeah. we've really checked cool. them out. We've rated his channel. He's a good channel. Um, but I played it a lot, and I've been leveling recently uh, 60 to 70, and I did yeah. some end game stuff as well. Yeah. And um, this leak came out uh, back in August, I think it came out. Today is. Um, That's right. September we're getting pre-patched next Thursday, month, guys. September 1st. So we're going to talk about what this means. So. The leak came out. I, th I don't know what the source of the leak came from. Today's I think it September well, it 1st. We are getting pre patch in October. About Wrath of Lich King. Thank you don't know if it so much for the invite. Community I'll keep an eye out for the streams. But yeah, thanks. Thanks well. for coming. I actually have no idea where this came from or what the source was of it. Uh, but it is very interesting the way it's laid out, the way it looks, and things like that. Uh, essentially, what the kind of like picture is, the image is, is just of like. Uh, different dates and different milestones uh, that Blizzard Activision are wanting to hit this year uh, with announcements and releases and things. Yeah. So the image itself is pretty uh, yeah, low we quality, saw this. as you can see. Uh, but a lot of this has come true, if not basically everything that's on here so far. It's gonna that's happen. why I kind of waited to it's release this video, because I wanted to wait for you know, this, the Game Awards October 25th pre-patch. And things like that, and all of this has come we're gonna true see, so far. We're going to so see image, a said, ton was leaked back in August. Uh, this of was dragons. before Wrath Drag of the Lich King pre-patch uh, was announced, and Wrath of the Lich King they are launch, rushing by November, uh, so it's going to be a train wreck. Uh, on the 30th I don't think it's a rush, though. This says, and the pre I think they're just, or I think they're just further ahead than they've ever been. Collector's Edition, Deluxe Edition, also came out on that day as well, as this says which is really really interesting so it does mention about call of duty i don't know too much about call of duty in the announcements uh, that way so i'm not going to mention that yeah uh, I don't but it does mention about the game awards at the time of this leaking out the game awards were not announced the date was not announced did you for not the game play awards. Sure. and though and I behold did. the game awards have been announced <laughs> and it is on december 8th look at that so yeah, that it looks true. like that was right as well. So Diablo 4 pre-purchase is going to come with the Game Awards on December 8th. That will include a WoW mount as well, so we'll surely cover that uh, as and when that comes out. But yeah, that's uh, pretty interesting, right? So the Game Awards was correct. The Wrath of the King pre-patch right. was correct. It was. The Wrath of the King launch was all also is correct. That, was, that is it's announced all correct. and happening on September 26th. So what we're going to focus on here is... I just is think they're further ahead than they've ever been. Dragonflight... Pre-patch is mentioned, and Dragonflight global launch is mentioned. So pre-patch for Dragonflight is slated for October 25th, yes, 2022. As of right yes, now, that is literally next month. Now, pre-patch for Dragonflight will include a lot of Dragonflight. We're going to get Dragonflight. We're going to get the soon? talents. I, We're going to get the I don't UI know if beta's update. Gonna happen. We're going to get a lot of the evergreen features of Dragonflight in the pre-patch. So a lot of that stuff... Beta's is going to happen, but basically this alpha has been like a beta. They've, they've shown almost every feature so far. 
to be done. Classes need so, to be I mean, be what are they, they're just going to change done. the title of what's By out right now, but it's, no, it's basically you know, beta you're already. You're going to get old talents, and then they're going to release the new talents on the launch of the game. Pre-patch means those features, like the Dracula Evoker, will need to be finished by that point yeah. of October 25th. Now, here's the thing. Oh, alpha and, and to really release. Which what kind could of go wrong? To make this video, <laughs> but this alpha has been far more robust than any alpha before. A lot about before. pre-TR pre-patch. That's something, you know, a lot Let's of people see what he says. And saying, oh, we dang, have a realm get to alpha, destroy. To beta and things like Feline, that. thank you for the follow and welcome to our Scourge. Mainly, a lot of the time, a lot of these people don't want to play Dragonflight. They just want to play around with their class. They want to mess around with the drag theory. They want to Yeah, people want to try the new talent systems, all too. Thing, all of that content is pre-patch content. So yeah. if Blizzard were to launch the pre-patch PTR uh, sooner rather than later, a lot of those people are going to jump into the PTR, test their class. Obviously, it's a level 60 kit, but it's still their class and their new talent trees. Right. And the Drak the Evoker, Clown the Drak the Evoker starting zone, all of that is going to be available in the pre-patch and would be available on the PTR, which is open to absolutely everybody. Right. And I mentioned this in a tweet a couple of days ago saying that this would be an amazing idea for Blizzard to do because of the amount of feedback they'll get. If they opened up to everybody, like yeah, it would be cool. And it looks like, as of the recording of this video, PTR is down right now. And a oh, tweet shit. from Marlamin is mentioning that the PTR is looking like it's going to be updated for 10.0. Oh, so shit. So pre-patch PTR looks like it's coming very soon. As soon as maybe this week or even it's next gonna week. It's going to happen. Uh, we will be potentially looking at a pre-patch PTR available Patch to absolutely everyone. Patches month of PTR. Test out classes. Test out the practice. Well, there, based on the timing we have now. And that will obviously be updated. Uh, they got about two months. The beta or the alpha uh, right now gets updated as well. Uh, they kind of run on the same builds. Obviously, on PTR, you just won't have that Dragonflight content. You'll be kind of stuck in uh, Shadowlands kind of esque. Uh, or, at least know, they're maybe paying attention to players and get, comments from Alpha. They are definitely paying attention to Alpha comments. That, so. More than ever, Stay I'd say. Stay tuned for that, but we'll definitely be covering that on the channel when that comes out. Uh, so that's pre-patch. Pre-patch is, yeah, next month, potentially, right? October yeah. 25th. That's very, very soon. Now, it also mentions about coming, global bro. launch for Dragonflight. That is November 28th, just over a month later uh, for a month-long pre-patch with a kind of late November launch for the expansion. This I never thought they'd launch in December. I always thought it'd be They did mention 2022. And obviously, with time ticking on and Alpha turning into Beta very, very soon, yep. uh, we're going to be looking at a late 2022 release. And it November has to happen now. seems like a reasonable date. Uh, in a recent interview with Ian, um, Ian mentioned about releasing all the raids at once. Uh, so that is something they're looking at. That has know, to do as, with Christmas you know, time. Because the year is kind of wrapping up. And they That's don't why be working over Christmas, all of these things confirm more Christmas. that it's going to happen exactly how this timeline is how laid out here. Work, right, because the raids will come out a week later. Season 1 of Dragonflight what could potentially mean, maybe? start on December 6th. With the race world first happening to at Ray the same time, if that's the oh, idea that they're thinking of of releasing normal heroic and mythic all at the same time. But again, I <laughs> didn't really announce anything. So just hard, kind of probably. questioned the idea of it. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with that. But a November twenty eighth does sound likely. Now the big question here is, you know, for me is is it ready? How's it looking right now? Um, as I said, I play a lot of alpha. I honestly, this I'm, guy I'm plays there every nothing day. but alpha. I'm kind of you know testing things and whatnot. And We're going to go check them out in a second. really does feel like a beta, especially at this point. Um, you know, That's all what I'm saying. This alpha is like a beta. Activities in there. The classes are slowly getting there. I think as of right now, the only class if not it doesn't, available Sam, is I will a never let you Demon Hunter. Forget. But again, that's going to come in soon. The classes Fair are also enough. getting a lot of iterations. Uh, they've put the, kind of their first draft of all the classes out there. And then they've been tweaking and changing things depending on feedback and ideas. Um, hunters have had a million different changes. Uh, they look like they're pretty much done now. They're going to move on to other classes. Uh, and that's kind of the way they're looking at it. And then they want to get those done, obviously, before October 25th, if that is the potential pre-patch day. Um, right. But They're going to want these that, things tested out for no the pre-patch. Because big overarching systems like Azurai or Torghast or anything like that, Clip it. they have a lot of room to finalize things, to polish things, because there's not these big systems, these big new systems that they need to That is why this on. doesn't need as they much testing. Have, He's as right. Right now, everything potentially there's no new power progression system alpha. here. Everything is there. Like, all the endgame systems, the only thing, obviously, Mythic Plus... Rating that all needs testing. Uh, Power progression systems, systems are the things that take no the longest. Islands or talk or anything like that. Because it all requires balance. Riding, and that is looking really solid right now. Uh, even with the dragon riding tree coming in last build fully uh, and the ability to kind of unlock the entire tree as or well. Or at least an attempt and at And that's balance. looking really solid. That's looking very, very good. So a lot of the bare bones and a lot of the content is in alpha. And in my humble opinion, I think the expansion is very much looking you know on time looking like it's getting to a point where right yeah i that think so november too november 20 that november 28th deadline is actually looking realistic and maybe i'll eat my words in a couple months uh, i don't know we'll see what happens and as we get i don't to think so and whatnot, i think he's right i don't know i think november 28th 
2022 sounds like a reasonable date for Dragonflight, but we'll have to see. And let me know down below, Despite guys. Despite what, what Prong says. Leak date. Um, I didn't think this leak was real at first, but now with the you know the Game Awards being announced and the Wrath stuff being announced and all being correct, yep, could be, could be. But let me know. Let me know down below what you think of that. Let me know what you think of the idea of pre-patch very very soon. Love to know what Good you guys stuff. think. But before I go, let's give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch yes, subs. I agree. Are awesome. And if you like, support we are channel seeing ways, links this expansion below. So leave a like drop. on this video, guys. If you like to subscribe, if you haven't, I've also got end a of channel. November. We're over three thousand members, and as I mentioned, I am now streaming on twitchtv slash gm If you want to see me streaming Dragonfly Alpha Beta, pre-patch PTR, no Rathage, doubt. Classic, all that good stuff, guys. I'm over on twitch.tv. There you go. Gm. It's documented right, right there. And with that, guys, right there. I'll see you next time. Yes, yes.